Hello and welcome everybody to this playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle with your host as always, Madurai Bread. In this playthrough, I'm going to be doing, uh, for the first time ever, a run-through of this game in which I get every single emblem. I've probably clocked hundreds of hours on this game growing up, so what I'm going to be doing is going through the hero story, then the dark story, then the secret final boss type thing. Then I'm going to be live streaming, recording, and uploading onto this playlist here on YouTube me getting all of the extra emblems through the Chow Garden, which is my favorite part of the game, as well as going through the special runs of each map. So this is going to be a really, really long playthrough, and then I'll end it by uh, celebrating by locally recording the secret final stage you get for getting 180 emblems, which I have never done before. I've actually never played that map before. I know what it is, but I won't spoil. If you're new to this game, uh... <laughs> It's not great, either in the either in the Chow Garden, but people have fond memories, and I kind of do too. So let's enjoy. Story select. Let's do hero story first. Uh, you can pick either one first, and you can kind of go out and in and do them in whatever order you want. Um, but I'll start with hero. By the way, this is the Steam version, so I'm playing on PC. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller, and for whatever reason, Steam thinks that it's an Xbox controller. So, I love the idea that Sonic just killed everyone on that helicopter. Apparently I took everyone out. <laughs> oh, and I also love how I'm totally gonna get ID claimed by Crush40 later for these songs. I will say, one of my greatest ironic loves in life is uh, singing and making fun of Crush40 songs. I, I've probably got half the game's soundtrack memorized, and I hate the game's soundtrack. But my god, do I never get sick of making fun of it. Alright, so, I'm gonna show you a few little tricks in this stage. There's not really a whole lot in this that's gonna help you unless you're trying to, like, speedrun the game. But one thing that I noticed that a lot of people, uh, didn't really know was so useful in the game, mostly because the game, I don't think it even tells you you can do it, is if you hold down, well, for me it's circle, I believe it's the B button normally in the game. If you hold down the B button while well, on the ground, you can spin dash, just like in the old 2D Sonic games. Spin dashing is actually much faster than running. I completely botched that. Oh, I botched that one too. It does- wow. Three in a row. It does mean that uh, you can't go off those jumps while doing it, but as you can see there, it actually helps you speed things up like that a lot. Oh, whoa! Okay, weird. The game just had a little mini crash there. We're, we're still good. We're still going. <laughs> Hope that wasn't serious. Uh, what I was saying is that for whatever reason, the spin dash is much faster than running. There are a lot of points in the game that you can do much faster if you spin dash. I'm also going to be passing by a lot of the chow crates early on. I'll be going to them later-ish. I'll probably find, in a in a level or two, I'll find an excuse to go to the chow garden. I just kind of want to keep things going early on. I'm also going to be a little bit out of practice. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. And we missed the invincibility thing, there is one just had left there. And because we don't have any abilities yet, I can't do this as fast as I normally would. Normally you'd have like light dash and stuff, but you earn that in later maps, I'm just used to going back to them. Eee, this game doesn't control very well. I don't know if you can see, but sometimes you just kind of pop off the rail. There are a lot of weird little glitches like that that a lot of people don't really bring up, and I think it's mostly because 
of nostalgia. They don't remember the bad times. Okay, so everyone remembers this, the Pepsi Man knockoff stage. Spin dash here and you get way farther away from the truck than you're supposed to. It's just a guarantee that I never actually get hit by it. Not that it's hard to outrun it or anything, but, you know. But I was saying, there are a lot of little glitches in this game people don't tend to remember that well. Uh, my favorite being, sometimes when you homing attack, you just semi-circle around the opponent and fall in the water and die. It happens. You'll see a lot of little weird oddities like that in this game. Overall, though, it's... Uh, it's probably the last good 3D Sonic game. It's debatably good. Just made it. Again, it's not as good as you might hope. People like to say, like, Sonic 6 was so horrible and this was great. Sonic 6 was horrible, but this being great, I don't know. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it on. Okay, so a fun thing that people like to make fun of in this game, and especially the one before, the first Sonic Adventure game, is uh, the mouth flaps do not line up with the characters almost ever. Uh, that's because it's just the Japanese cutscenes and they voiced it over in English and they didn't change the mouth flaps or anything. So, uh, I think you can kill him pretty fast if you just jump on the crates a lot, but if you get an unlucky pattern, he'll destroy them really fast. If you wait long enough, I do believe he lands and you can get free hits on him then. And if you're doing this in the future, after you've already gotten some upgrades, I believe you can just use the bounce bracelet to get up to him early. Is he gonna go land over there? No, okay, so he always does at least two shooting cycles. It's a pretty simple first boss battle. It's mostly just to get you acclimated to the homing attack, which a lot of the game is based around. A little Easter egg, by the way. That movie poster you might have seen back there on the building is actually of the boss of the previous game, uh, which I think is a cool little Easter egg. There was clearly love put into this game. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald. I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos control! I love that. He calls him a fake hedgehog. <laughs> just let it go. You just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The master emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the chaos emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Look who's calling who a thief. I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. Is you, Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, Knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Ah! What? What was that all about? And look what you did to my emerald! I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your emerald. That's not. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. 
all the world's gems are mine to keep. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. So if you're wondering just what in the blue hell is going on, don't worry, the game is not really supposed to make sense until you've done both stories. It's terrible storytelling, but you know. Okay, so now we're doing a knuckle stage. Uh, I think most people agree <laughs> that knuckle stages are the worst in the game. What you have to do in knuckles and rouge stages is is a treasure hunt. And that's the chow key. I'll show you the chow garden is in a moment. Oh, and knuckles has the worst songs too. So, basically what we're trying to do here, game just had another odd freak out there, might have to change what I record this game with. Okay, so we have a hot and cold system going on, and I believe it's telling me, it's hard to tell with this camera, but I think what it's telling me to do is go smash one of those rocks floating up there. Ah, uh, that one that was just above my head there, I think that might be where it is. I don't have all of the- oh, I fell. I don't have all the emerald locations memorized, unfortunately. I know you basically have to if you're gonna get a high rank in some of these stages. I think it's in this one. Nope, not in that one? Hmm, where else could it be? You know what? Could just be on the surface. Let's go up here. Now, you can find the gems, or the emeralds, rather, in any order you want. However, oh, you know what? It's this one, isn't it? In this enemy? No. Now, I got a chow drive, which is to make my chows better. It's around here. That enemy? No. Uh, if I take a hint, I think I automatically make my rank lower, but I don't really care if I make my rank lower. So let's just walk over here a little bit. Okay, it's definitely underground. Let's, uh, check this. This is a hint thing. I, I can't check it until Omachao goes away. Near six pillars. Are there six pillars in here? I see six pillars, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apparently I was really close to it. Where? Oh, it is in one of those rocks. I just hit the wrong rock, didn't I? Is it that one? I don't know. It's, again, the camera's really terrible. Ah, it keeps flying up and down, but you see the one I'm going for, right? That one. All right, I might have to jump from all the way at the top and try and get above it and then drill down. There we go, okay, so I was onto it in the beginning, and then I kind of lost it. Got it. At least it's not a big map. So, map ends as soon as we find all three. Uh, not in this area. Oh, hold on. See, this is what I mean when I say you can get them in any order. Uh, it's, it's floating around here. I hope you're not getting completely nauseated by the camera. It's a little bit better if you're playing, so I got a perfect score on that, uh, because it was the last, uh, or rather, I, I believe it's because I got it, uh, when it wasn't even the one that, uh, I was targeting. Let's grab that, that's a power chow drive. There we go! I found them. Sweet. You know, it might have been for finding them in under a minute from finding the previous one. It's not too hard to get uh, good scores and good rankings on the treasure hunt maps. Yeah, I feel good. God, that was an old school Sonic noise. All right, we got our second emblem. You can just get one emblem from beating every stage. Emblems unlock all kinds of things, um, from, I believe, game modes to other things. Now, normally I wouldn't have that up there unlocked or this down here unlocked. However, uh, I have played a lot of the Chow Garden previously in years past on the channel on stream. So we already have a bunch of stuff here unlocked, and oh, there's my old Chow that I haven't seen in forever. Yeah, I got every single medal and everything with him. I don't know what that's kanji for, I think what a geek named him, he can read that. Yeah, the Chow Garden. So in the Chow Garden here, uh, basically what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess we're gonna buy an egg and start raising a chow. But we'll do that later. There's no mistake about it. This must be the island. It's a secret military. 
military base that is reinforced and super strong. That meth flap. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. I still can't believe that Sonic would destroy the military building or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. Oh, good God. Alright, so this is a boss battle, and I've got an awesome speedrun strat for you. Okay, all you do is mash the shoot button. It's, uh, he's not very hard. You'll win every time. There you go, there's your speedrun strat. Mash shoot, hold up every once in a while to face him again. He's uh, not that tough. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Wow, Tails, you did it! But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? I know, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. Again? Hurry, I know Eggman's up to no good again. Okay, you stay here and I'll be right back. Oh man, the music is so badly balanced. Okay, we got time for one more map. Just so I can show you all three types of gameplay. So you've seen the, uh, the racing stages. You've seen the bounty hunting stages, whatever you want to call it, treasure hunt stage. And now you can see the shooting stages. These are probably the slowest. Uh, there's no real speed running these too much. A lot of it, unfortunately, is just shoot homing missiles at stuff. Every time you shoot, you can hold this little laser thing out. Every time you go over an enemy with it, they'll be targeted, and they just release to shoot. It's really not the most interesting thing in the world. Um, later, you kind of get a little bit of platforming challenge, but right now, not really. But these are the three game modes you'll be seeing through the whole game. Uh, either than Chow Garden stuff, of course, of raising your own Chow in kind of a simulator RPG-ish thing, which I find very fun. You'll see in this mode that we actually have a health bar at the bottom, and getting rings does heal us every time we get, I think it's 10 or so. So the goal here is just get to the end of the map. That's always what it is here. And often they'll have gates where you need to kill enough enemies or the gate doesn't open. It's pretty simple stuff. It becomes a little bit more interesting once you have the hover. I believe Tails doesn't get that till the second stage. There's a few little kind of mini-gamey things here and there. I believe both teams have, uh, both Team Hero and Team Dark have a driving stage, but they're not that interesting. You'll be seeing every map though. Uh, there's no real skipping things. There are a little secret, a lot of little secrets in maps, though. Uh, you're not gonna be seeing them in this initial run through, likely, just because many of them you need to come back with new abilities to get to. You will be seeing all of them once I get streaming the alternate run throughs of the maps, and I'll be streaming those over on Hitbox TV. Link in the description if you want to follow me ahead of time, and uh, they will be uploaded here on YouTube. There we go, you see that special colored one there? Uh, that enemy only appears for a few moments. Oh man, I almost got knocked off the map, that would have sucked. Uh, but right, that special enemy there is just worth some extra points. You see there's a little animal here, we got a unicorn. You can find animals uh, just riddled through stages. You can just uh, give them to your chow, gives them some stats, gets rid of some other stats, and they get body parts of the animals you give them to make them look cooler. So, if you're into that, you can do that. I tend to be a little bit of a purist, but maybe I'll put a lot of animal parts in mine this time. Who knows? Here we go. 
Now these uh, whole sections become a lot faster once we get the ability for our homing missiles to actually hit multiple enemies. And I don't think I can... There we go, okay. It was a different one I was thinking of that had a trick. That I think I needed hover boots for. But yeah, don't have any character upgrades yet so there's not much we can do. Like later, uh, you can go back here and shoot through those and I think get a bonus, but we don't have what we need for that right now. So the rings we get on these stages, by the way, we can actually use as currency in the Chow Garden for buying stuff for your Chow, which I think is really cool. Huh? Amy? Keep your voice down. Have no fear. Amy Rose is here. How'd you get here? Well, if you gotta know, I caught a ride with Tails. Are you sure you don't need my help? It looks like you could use it. The reason I'm in here is because of that fake hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No way. I thought I had you this time. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat sometimes. I love the hilariously uncomfortable implication of, you mean that black hedgehog? Where do you see it? But... On that weird epithet, I think that's the perfect time to end this episode. If you want to watch more, I'll have a playlist on screen for you, as well as a playlist to a different series. If you want to watch something else, uh, subscribe if you liked it, like if you liked it, and until next time, have a nice day.